Hi, Michael Petrovich, Petrovich Team Home Loan. Um, in this edition, I'm going to talk about 20% uh, down. Uh, now, this is uh, a common misconception about mortgages is that one, you don't need uh, you don't need 20% down to purchase a house. A lot of people think you need to save up that 20% before you can buy a house. What uh, even fewer people know is that sometimes it's not a good idea to wait until you have that 20% down. That putting down the lower down payment, um, there could be several reasons why that's the better option. Uh, first reason you wouldn't put 20% down, let's say you, you had saved up the 20% and you're looking at putting the money down in a house. Um, and this is very common, especially with people that are selling their first house and buying a new house and using that equity towards the new house is they think it's a good idea to take all that money and put it towards the new house. Um, when I pull their credit, a lot of times I'll see a lot of, um, not a lot, but you'll see a lot of credit cards, uh, consumer debt, uh, car loans, installment loans on there, things that have a much higher interest rate than the mortgage. So rather than put all that money towards the new house, let's put down um, much less and use that money to pay off some of your consumer debt. And that's going to get your overall monthly payment obligations much lower. So this is something I'll suggest to people when they come in and they're selling their current house and want to throw all the money towards the new house. Um, when I see their consumer debt, I'll say, you know, why don't I show you some options for a lower down payment? And we can start, we can at closing pay off all of these debts. We can pay off your credit card, your car loan, your installment loan, things that have higher interest rates and higher monthly payments that are going to get your overall debt ratios uh, much lower. Um, Another reason why it might not be a good idea to put 20% down is the rate is actually slightly, not much, but slightly higher um, when you put 20% down. The reason for this is if you put down less than 20%, you have mortgage insurance. Now, mortgage insurance is meant to insure the lender in case someone defaults. So it's insurance for the lender, not for you, um, in case that loan goes into default. Now, what this creates then is that if you're putting down 5, 10, 15%, because you, uh, the lender is covered by that mortgage insurance, the risk to them is less than if you put 20% down because they're covered by that insurance, which means um, they can offer a slightly better rate than if you put 20% down. Uh, I know people always think the more you put down, the better the rate gets, um, but that's not necessarily the case. If you put 20% down, the lender's no longer covered by that MI, they might charge a slightly higher rate. So I can show you both options. I can show you the, the 15, 10, five, and then the 20, and you can see the 20 might have either a higher rate or higher fees um, and the same rate uh, by doing that 20% down. Um, two, uh, I'm sorry, three on um, the 20% down is Sometimes it's not good to wait to save up. So I know a lot of people come in and say their, their parents told them or somebody at work told them, you know, don't buy a house until you have the 20% down because you want to avoid that MI. Well, if you wait to have that 20% down, those, you know, years that it takes to save that up are years that you could be in a house paying down the loan and building equity in the house by the value of the house going up. And you'll find that after, you know, if you take five years to save up that 20%, um, if you just bought the house with 3% down, paid down your mortgage, paid the, more, uh, the mortgage insurance, but also had that value of the house going up, you know, three, three and a half percent a year, um, you'll end up at the end of that five years with a lot more equity in the house than if you rented while saving up and bought a house with 20% down. So waiting to buy until you have the money to put uh, the 20% down could actually end up costing you equity in the home. Um, and finally, uh, MI. I think there's a big misconception about how much MI costs. Now, it depends on how much you're putting down. The, the less you put down, the higher the MI. It depends on your credit score. So the the higher your credit score, the lower the, the, the mortgage insurance is going to be monthly. Um, but often when I show people what the MI is per month, um, they're, they're kind of shocked at how low that is. So, I mean, it could be, um, you know, it depends on, it's a percentage of the loan, so it's based on the size of the loan, but it could be, you know, $20 a month, $30 a month, um, which is not nothing, but a lot of times people come in thinking that the mortgage insurance is hundreds of dollars a month. And when I show them that it's only $20, $30 a month, um, it makes sense, especially if you're going to get a higher rate on that 20% down, um, to put down less, just pay the MI and have it drop off once you reach that 20%. Um, and I can kind of show you ways to, to pay your loan down quickly, to, to build that equity, in that, to uh, build equity in the house quickly and come back later and show that you have 20% equity to get that, that mortgage insurance dropped in a few years. So there are uh, reasons why you wouldn't put 20% down, even if you had the money to put down. And there's a good reason to buy a house sooner rather than later, if that's something you want to do with the lower down payment. So uh, down below is my information. Reach out to me and we'll go over uh, all the options. All right. Thanks.